Hi everyone, this is Kyle with uh, KDebate. I wanted to do a video on using opinions as fact, and it, it's becoming more prevalent online. It's, it's always been, been prevalent online, but it's been getting more so because people are looking towards bias news as kind of a, um, a justifier for this. It's like, this is the kind of argument they make. So I am going to you. I'm going to parrot them because they're they're parrot. All of them parrot each other, and it, it's a lot easier just to do that than to look up your own information. Um, so it, there, there's um, you know the the media. They're supposed to look into their information, so you trust them more. So you say what they do, but you also don't really trust the media anymore. Uh, as as this general, yeah, they're biased, but you know they're my kind of bias, so it's okay. Uh, I would have done it anyway. Um, kind of kind of thing it's it's getting to this distrust in everybody that we have now so you know who cares if they're if they're not 100 percent right it's you know the other side's just as bad um, <clears throat> and it's that kind of dismissal and using using these um, non-facts as fact you're using your opinion to justify these things that you've said but you you you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to say, you know, I don't like this or I like this, but you cannot state it as a fact. You cannot say this is 100% uh, irrevocable, um, unquestionable fact. You cannot say that. And a lot of people do that without realizing what they're doing. Uh, some of the conversations I've been having lately, which I've been having a lot of them, uh, all in rapid succession because of, of the stuff happening with the Supreme Court and my, my Facebook exploding with all of these different things. I, I had five, five or six of them in one day, and I spent hours just responding to all of them. Uh, and I'm trying, I'm really, really trying to talk to these people, and they do not want to talk to me. Um, I've, been, I've been yelled at several times about being a... Uh, uh, str I, don't, I don't understand why, but I, I'm always, I'm always dis dismissed as a lefty extremist. Uh, which I do not understand why they would. I, I can understand why the right side would see me as a leftist or the left side would see me as uh, m more on the right. But I'm really, I'm not making a stance on a lot of these things. I, I did not say, like, um, one of them was the, um, this, is the, this is the one that I spent the most time on was, because everyone was responding to me, was Obama and Hillary, they, they, they posted a picture of Obama and Hillary, and it had they were side by side in different pictures, with quotes of them being against same-sex marriage, and the, one of them was in 2000, and one of them was in uh, and Obama's was Hillary's was in 2000, Obama's was in 2008, I believe, 2007, 2008, and both of them were re relatively the same as I do not support uh, same-sex marriage uh, on the grounds of legal whatever. Uh, and I responded to that picture because it, it was pretty much saying, you know, they're, they're, the only reason they changed their, because now they're, they're both, you know, pro-same-sex marriage. And their argument on, on the post was they're only doing this as a publicity stunt, a way of getting voters, because this is the way the popular vote is going to swing. They're going to hurt, um, you know, politically if they do not jump on the bandwagon, so to speak. Uh, and I don't know enough about Hillary. I never commented anything about Hillary. I don't know anything uh, about her her long-standing campaign promises and, and her, her beliefs. I don't follow her as much. Um, I do know that Obama changed his, his stance on same-sex marriage several years ago. It, it's not uh, recent. It was, um, I don't remember exactly when it was. I did watch uh, an interview that somebody was speaking to him about it. I do remember this one because I was I was actually very uh, intrigued by it because you don't see this very often with political figures, especially uh, very uh, prominent ones, of re not recanting but changing a stance, of saying I had this conversation. I believe he said with his wife, and it was a very long, in-depth, you know, soul-searching kind of conversation. And he said about by the end of it, he had been, you know. Um, um, I don't know what the word is or the word that he used, but he said he had changed his mind and he said he wanted to. Do... So I brought up those those ideas in, in, in the discussion because there was it was hundreds of comments and I just made mine. I always make a really long blurb because I'm always reiterating everything I say, trying to explain where I get my information. Um, and I posted this really long thing about, you know, I don't know 
why they changed their stance. I don't know about Hillary. I don't know if, if this is what they were doing when they did it. Like, obviously, popularity, destroying your career is always a factor for people. But if that was the reason they changed their stance, then yes, that is terrible. That is a, that is a it's it's a political move as opposed to anything else. And that's just, you know, you cannot have the moral high ground if your behavior is influenced so strongly by the public vote that you're willing to change your, you say you're changing your your morality when you're not, your morals, your ideals when, you, when you're really not. So it's lying, it's, it's deceiving. And I, I, I explain that as like, if that is true, then yes, I would be on your side as being that is bad. But um, the way you're stating it is that is fact. You are saying the only, and they actually said several times, the only, because I responded to them several times, the only reason why anyone, and they, they kept generalizing, which I really, really hate, lefties, all lefties, or all liberals, or all, all um, they, they just, they kept using all of these, these catch-all terms for, and they did it for their other side as well, so they were just generalizing all over the place, but they, they, they referred to me as a lefty, um, just pander, uh, and I was trying to just explain to them, is I was, I was just trying to explain to them that they're stating things as fact when they're not, and their response was, well, it is fact. Just deal with it. All lefties are X. And I was like, no, that's, that's doing it again. And they were trying to scoop me up into, into the, the pandering thing. It's like, no, that's not why I'm doing this. All you're doing is generalizing, simplifying, and um, dismissing. That is, that is the dogmatic approach. And I, I, I don't remember the exact phrase I used. I believe... I said, um, when when you are justified in what you say, when when you actually say something that is that is true, then you are you completely oh, you can say it. I, there there's um uh, justified morals and dogmatic um, dogmatic um, judgment. I think that's what I said, because. If you're, it doesn't matter if you're correct or not when you're making an argument. In itself, it's why you make that assumption. You can, you can, you know, guess like saying, "Oh, that's twenty-five when you have no idea, or, or you know, that guy's going to win or that guy's going to win, but you're just guessing. Uh, that's that isn't the same kind of argument. So you can't use that kind of logic. It's like, well, you know what? Odds are. He's a corrupt politician, so I'm just going to say he's a corrupt politician. You can't do that. Uh, <clears throat> also, it's a generalization. It's a simplification. And when I tried to make the argument that you cannot just say that all of a group is the same, the same way because that's, that's prejudice, it's bias, uh, he called me bias because I was not, I was not, uh, I guess maybe I wasn't articulating it properly. It's really, really hard to find the right words sometimes uh, because when you call somebody bias, when you call somebody out, as saying something biased, they become defensive and they become angry or they become, um, they, they, they get offended usually because um, when, when you question somebody's ideals or somebody's judgment, um, you become their enemy. And I don't like that mentality. So he, he made a comment about, and I'm just going to, I'm going to say that the arguments was, he said Obama was lying and was a corrupt bigot uh, and hypocritical liar. And I said, you don't know that. You're assuming that. But you're saying it as a fact and that's wrong. He kind of assumed that I was just saying Obama was a saint, kind of. And th th those are the extremes people use in their mind when they're trying to dismiss somebody. It's like, oh, this guy's just a whack job. He's a nut. Don't listen to anything he says because he's just wrong in everything. So I was trying to, and it's really, really hard to get into that because there's, there's, there's like, is an impenetrable wall of circular logic that people will apply to you. And sometimes you just can't get through it. I mean, there's nothing ever you could say that would change their mind. But some, but I'm really, really trying just to explain it, just to, just to like put it there and let them examine it. Because I'm not trying to crush their ideals. I'm trying to get them to look at, the, look at something objectively, look at the issue that they're talking about, and, and just be able to, you know, that, I don't need to change people's minds. That's, what I'm not, that's not what I'm there for. I'm there just to say, hey, what you said was an opinion. That, that, that's just what you said. You said they're all corrupt because 
Uh, that's what they all do. And that means this guy right now, what the reason he did it was because of the most heinous kind of reason he could have used it for, which was popularity as opposed to actually switching their ideals, which is in itself dangerous, but that's another discussion. So he took my, my comment of his opinion uh, being stated as fact as being unfair uh, as an attack, and he attacked me and dismissed me. And when I, when I said it's not fair to dismiss, as being, I was being marginalized, I was being simplified and, and dismissed. And when I, when I said that, he pretty much, and I don't want to put words in his mouth, but he was pretty much saying I didn't matter because he did not actually care about the subject at hand uh, so that I had no reason to comment about it further. Um, and there was several people I was talk I, I, I had talked to. Uh, there was maybe five or six, and some of them were more, you know, you know, in the middle. You know, it, it doesn't really matter, or you know, you're you're wrong, or uh, a few people called me a bigot, um, and being judgmental and close-minded. And uh, I can understand why they said that because I was responding to so many people at once. I wasn't being as as detailed as I, I'm trying to do this. I'm out of the shot. I'm trying to be as 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 you know complete as I can but I'm stretched very thin sometimes when it comes to because if you don't respond quickly uh, you just get washed away in all the things and you know other people disappear or log off and I'm just trying to get to as many people uh, to answer their questions or to respond to what they've said to me already and it, it's very difficult to get everything out sometimes I forget what I said to who and I was I was one person they, they said um, they said something along the lines of, um, you, you know politicians, you, you know what they do. And then he, he went on to say, you know, that's the reason why the, um, Obama is just grabbing, grabbing popular vote. And I responded really, really quickly because I was responding to everybody. And I, says, I, I said, uh, I know politicians, but not so generalized as that, as you have done. Uh, not so simplified as you have done. And he responded to me as like, why are you, why are you saying something so judgmental towards me? You don't know why I, I did it. And I realized that I hadn't explained what, what I meant by I, I understand them but not as, as simplified. Is The way he worded it was a, a gross simplification of the issue at hand. And because he did not give me information, I was unable to extrapolate from it. I was unable to to build an argument that he had made. He had not made an argument, he had made an opinion. So his opinion was highly simplified, so I said, yes, I understand politicians, but not so simplified because his was simplified. The issue was I didn't explain that. I All I said was that really quickly, and then I went on to the next thing. And I felt bad about that, and I sent him a lo much longer explanation after I realized what I had done. Um, but it, it's all about about trying to get a conversation started um, and it's very very difficult um, the, the medium I'm using is terrible uh, it is probably the worst medium you can use but if you if you ignore the the worst problems of bigotry and and it, it's instant gratification you see something pop up on the thing and you just share it or you like it or you comment like this is the worst scum in the world or whatever and it's it's not making anything better so when you, when you actually get in there and you're like, this is messed up. This, there's something wrong with this argument. And you have to really, really go in and like think about it for you know a while. I mean, sometimes five minutes, sometimes several hours. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's not ruining your entire day because you know it's, it is stressful and sometimes you have to think about complex issues and you don't want to. You're on Facebook to play games and talk to your friends. But when, when, when you're on there and people are sharing misinformation or they're just kind of vomiting onto each other and they're just all having this big kind of you know let's hate everybody that's different than us parties uh when i when i see that shared onto my front page i want to like look at it and analyze it and figure out where this where this hate or or this bigotry is coming from and just look at it and say hey let's actually talk about the issue instead of just you know vomiting you know your own uh, dogma onto it. Let's let's talk about it. Like, is this possible? Is is your opinion that you have stated as fact? Um, does it hold up to an actual argument? Do, can you say without 
because you know, that's what they're doing. They're ignoring argument. They're, they're simplifying it. And when you simplify something, it does not hold up to an analysis. It, it will not, because uh, you have to build on it. And when you build on it, when you don't have a foundation, because you removed everything just to make it really, really easy for you, it, it starts to fall apart. And people really hate that. They, they become agitated because um, I, I don't want to get too far off topic, but when somebody makes a comment about a political party or a political person within that party or, or an ideal that a party has, but they they use it in a way that it's not originally intended to be, like uh, when, when you see a post anywhere that's a, a picture of somebody with a quote next to it and then they have a description of, of what that means, you have to be able to understand the context of all three of those things before you can really figure out what's what it means. Like I've been reading articles that are linked in these things and they're not related to the thing they were linked to because, you know, they're 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 from a completely different source or they're from uh, from a they're from a different angle. Like this person's not uh, this person's not a Marxist, this person's a this, or this person's a that. Where are you getting your information from? I'm trying to question these these things and it's so difficult to, to to grab the person that made the comment and say, hey, I want to talk to you about this. I want to figure out where you got this information so that we can we can grow as as you know intellectuals just to just to, to figure out, you know, is this true or is that true? Did, did you get your information from a, a re reasonable source that was actually true? And many, many times they don't have any any of that stuff. So when you try to talk to them, they're just like, no, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to talk to you. You're, you're below me. And that's what really, really bothers me. Uh, somebody dismissed me as a, as a person when I was talking to them. And I, I was like, okay, you can disagree with me. You are, have every right to disagree with me in any way you, you feel is, you know, Prevalent, you, anything. You you could say that you don't like uh, the 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 wall color I, I have. You, you, whatever. It doesn't matter what you disagree with me. But when you use something that makes it so I am not even human, like you 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 dismiss me as a human, um, then you've gone way too far. You have gone to the point of of losing all credibility in your argument because your argument is that I am beneath you. Or, or in this case, that you are beneath me, um, from their perspective, uh, that's wrong. There, there is no justification for that, and I called them out on it, and they didn't like that very much because I, I pretty much said, um, you have every as I, you have every right to dis dismiss um, things that are are irrelevant, or you know you can argue the values of things but when you say that me as a person doesn't doesn't matter to, because be, and he gave a reason because I am a leftist extremist um, then you have you have not only attached this thing to me that I'm not part of you have gr used that to say I am completely irrelevant and the way he did it implied that he does it to everyone from the, the left uh, wing party and by extension, everything that he attaches the left-wing party to, whether, whether they're attached to it or not. So with his own logic, he can attach it to anything and dismiss anything, and that's very, very dangerous. So I was obviously, I was, I was insulted, and I responded, and I tried to explain to him that his tactic that he used, which he, I believe he uses many times because he is a, he's on a, uh, a prevalent um, right-wing conservative um, political page, um, his tactic is to um, use dismissal and generalizations to antagonize people because the only ones that are listened to are the loudest people. And when you get somebody angry and they become loud, they also show their ignorance and bias. So if I started yelling at him because I got angry, I would then be used as a, as a form of justification for the hate that they spouted us like look at this fanatic look at this psychopath look at how how angry the left people are when you poke their bear bears that they love so much 
or their messiahs that they, they put on pedestals. Look, we made fun of Obama, and now this guy's frothing at the mouth. Um, that is an underhanded tactic, and I called him out on do not use these tactics. And I, I said that... I said that as a, as a possibility. I didn't say this is exactly what you're doing, but I'm saying the, the way you're doing this and the way you've done it in the past shows these things and they're not good. And it's, it's kind of confusing because I don't remember exactly who said it. I just remember that they're one of the main posters there and they were responding very quickly to me. So I was trying to respond more, but they kept responding over and over again, adding things to it. So I had kept going back and it was it was um, kind of kind of difficult to follow because uh, Facebook sometimes, at least on my end, doesn't always show me who responds to my posts. Like I click on it and it shows me the page, and then I have to keep scrolling down and finding find their post, click on it, find my post, click on it, find their post in that, click on it. And when you're having a lot of conversations, it kind of gets muddled and you don't know which page is which. But I I was trying to to just explain to him that. Those kinds of, of things, when, when you're using an opinion to justify an action or, or to justify a call for action or to dismiss uh, an argument, but it's not fact, so you're not actually justifying it, you, uh, you're, you're, you're not using fair logic, you're using your own bias logic. And when you call somebody out on bias logic, they become agitated and it's this big mess. You cannot use opinion when you're making an argument. If you use opinion, it has to be as a reason to look deeper. This doesn't feel right, or that doesn't look right, or there's something wrong with this, but I don't know what it is. I, 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 I can't wrap my head around it. It feels like this. It feels like that. It has a taste. It has, a, it has this, this kind of feel, it, it, it's, it's slimy kind of feeling in, in, in your mind when you try, to, when you try to, to figure it out. So when you have that, you can use your opinion and say, you know what? When you said that, something doesn't feel right. Let's look into this. Let's talk about this. Where did you come up with that idea? Because you also have these really good feelings when you, when you make an argument. It's like, that felt, that sounds really right. And you don't want to question it, but you still have to because it's still an opinion. So you're like, hmm, there's something, there's something about this. Why do I like it so much? Let's figure it out. That's what you got to do. You got to use fact and actually build the thing. You can't build it out of opinion and you don't use the foundation for the opinion. Use the, use the opinion as a sort of a, a motivator. Like, hey, doing this thing really makes me happy. I wanna figure out why. And then you get into the field and you're like, that is amazing, I love this. I'm gonna keep doing it. This is why, this is why, this is why. And you can just keep answering questions. That's what opinion and what this kind of the, the, the opinions are based pretty much off of your past experiences and the things that you've reacted to in certain ways and your associations and whatnot. So you can use it to build up things, but you cannot use it as the building blocks. You use it as like uh, the energy that you use to move the building blocks around, I guess. Uh, so it's not even the mortar because the mortar is, is other things, but like all the analogies kind of fall apart when you try to build too much with them. But just like, Motivation, motivation, opinion, those are like energies, and the facts are the actual blocks. So you got to use your facts. You cannot make an argument with, with dust, and definitely not with kinetic energy, because that's wrong. Um, so I guess that's it. Using opinion as fact, is, it's not going to work. It, it's a damaging kind of force. So when, when you see somebody doing that, you have to, you know, you don't have to be a jerk about it, but definitely explain to them why there's a problem with what they're doing, because it doesn't lead to progression. It leads to dividing. It's my opinion versus your opinion. One of us has to be wrong. That's not really how it works. Both of your opinions could be wrong, or you can have differing opinions on something that's actually built from the same thing. So you can say, well, I see it as blue, but I see it as red. And you look, hey, wait, it's blue and red. So you can work together. You can build the same thing with differing opinions, but you're still going towards the same goals. So it's, it's really complex sometimes, depending on how deep you want to get into it. But it's also really the arguments and debate and discussion are beautiful. And I believe that any form of communication that is at least attempting to build something is, is something to strive for. Um, the one issue is that it takes a lot of time and energy and it takes a lot of stress when somebody just starts spamming you with hate 
because they don't agree with you and they have no idea how to make a proper argument. Uh, I've always loved proper arguments. I've, well, not always. I was young once and stupid, but uh, I still am kind of um, ignorant in a lot of things. But I love learning and I love talking to people and that's how I love to learn. But there's so few people I can talk to and I've been finding my outlets to be people that, I great, that have very, very, very strong opinions of things. And some of them can really have good discussions. Some of them are just, I, it's a joy to talk with them sometimes. But other times I hit a topic and it just, it hits a wall immediately and they do not want to talk about something. And that's fine. I don't mind that. But then there's the people you hit a wall with and they just smash you with it repeatedly and they won't leave you alone. Um, those, the, find the balance. Um, passion is a wonderful thing. Um, commitment, uh, um, great. Just don't let it fall into obligation or um, dogma. Uh, once, you've, once you've fallen into, I must do this uh, because of pride or because of a fear of um, people thinking you're, you're jumping from one side to the other, that's something you shouldn't be afraid of. Because it, if you find new information that makes you change your mind, you should not fear um, explaining that. Um, and that's what, my opinion is that they're in the Obama um, switching sides on gay marriage. Uh, my reasoning is, is he did this several years ago and he gave a reason why he did it. He actually said that the reason he did it was because of a conversation he had with his wife. I believe that's the case. And if that's true, then I actually respect him greatly for that because it is a very difficult kind of thing to do. Is uh, I don't know if he was running for president or if he already was and was rerunning, but either way, it would have it was a major risk because it was not as popular as it is now, and. If that's the case, that's my, that was my, my whole argument is you don't know that he did it for the popular vote. He could have done it because he changed his mind. That's my argument is he could have done it. We need to look into it more. What what behavior has he has has he brought? Has he had rallies? Has he had conversations where it's been discussed in you know, like casual conversation? Uh, how often has this been brought up? Has he has he re, has he voted against it at any point? Um, has this, has anyone you know close to him commented about? There's things you can bring up to, to, to further an argument uh, or a discussion that shows one side or the other. If he has said one thing and then immediately done something against that, he's probably lying. Uh, many politicians do do that because popularity is their job. It's how they get reelected. It's how they get their job. So it is a prevalent problem, but you cannot simplify it. You cannot you know, condense it into this, everyone is exactly the same and therefore wrong because uh, whatever reason, you, th th in itself that argument is already wrong. So this video is almost 30 minutes long. I didn't plan on it to be this long. I hope I've gotten my information out properly. I hope that this can help somebody a little bit. Um, I've, been, I've been struggling with this with a lot of people lately and I just want people to understand that there is a way of having a discussion that does not hurt anyone. It's like everyone has these conversations to win, and I don't understand why you need to win. It's about learning. It's not about you know, I took more. I took more from them than they took from me. No, it's not how it works. I just want people to be able to talk to each other, learn from each other, grow, progress, and build a better tomorrow. And yeah, whatever. Um, there's just so much that needs to be done in our culture and society and everywhere around the world. Um, just too much for one person, I guess, to do. Um, spending hours talking on Facebook isn't going to fix it, but I still like it. Um, I, ho I, hope it I hope it helps. Uh, what little I do, I'm still doing it for, for that. So um, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and peace.